All right, so I want to show you how to build more uh, rich chords. Uh, I'm not professional at it, but I know how to kind of get you started with it. So what we want to start with is uh, just figuring out a major scale. We're going to talk about just how to build a major chord first. So figuring out a major scale is the first important thing. So if you want to pause the video or slow it down, you're going to play this. So that's A major. Inside of A major, there's seven unique notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it goes back to one. Other people will call it eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, when you get into like bigger chords, and we're gonna talk about that. So um, a basic chord, like the most basic form of a chord is called a triad. A triad is just a combination of certain notes inside of this scale. Uh, and it's one, three, and five. So you just find one, you find three, and you find five in the scale, and you combine them. So we have one, three, five. So now you just gotta find a way to play it where each of them have their own voice on a different string. So this one is one. Now I just found this, I mean, same note. So you can use your ear, or if you know different major scale shapes, you can do that. Another way, <clears throat> fives down here. Um, I did that because I went to the second octave. One, two, three, four, five. So one, three, five. Three's right here. All right. So um, basic triads, right? So this is like a closed voicing triad. So what you want to do now um, to start building more uh, voicings into it, you want to start maybe adding the seventh. So the seventh is just the seventh uh, note in that scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now all you do is you just add that. So now you have four notes instead of three. So a uh, popular one is this. All right. So you have first note, fifth fret, or first string, fifth fret, and then middle finger, fifth fret. These two are on the sixth fret. Um, so right here we have one, seven so my third finger is on the seventh if we go one two three four five six seven it's right there then we have our pinky on the three and our middle finger on the five so this is really cool because you have each of them in their own area so one seven three five now it's really cool when you start adding more notes into it um so if you want to add the nine or the eleven um, you can start getting bigger chords like this. Now the way that you do that is you just take these very basic chords and you just look what's around it, right? So we have our seven, our three, and our five. So let's mess with these and keep the root the same just to have some sort of grounding. Um, so let's say uh, a major nine chord. So a nine is also a two. So if you want to think about it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight is one, nine is two. So it would be this note in the scale. Now it's, you don't want to move this one because I just said that. You could if you want, it's going to sound weird unless you put it in the right context, but you can just move the three down to the two. Now, um, sometimes it's important to keep the three because uh, it has like such a value where it can tell you if something's major or minor, but you can also move it around. So if we took the three, which is our pinky, and we just moved it down a full step, right? Because in the scale, it's gonna be right there. So we're just moving our pinky down to here and we're keeping the rest of the uh, chord intact. So now we have this. So now you're just playing a major nine. Now let's say you want to add another um, area where the major seventh is in the top voicing, right? So we have the seven here, we're playing it with our pinky. But let's say we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's up here and we can do this. 
right? So I'm barring my first finger, that's why it's right there. If you wanna play this note with it, you just added the third end, cause one, two, three. So that's a pretty big chord. Now let's say you wanna add the major six. So we have the seven right here, and we have the seven down here. Um, let's say you didn't have the seven down here, and we just had this back to the major nine voicing that we were doing like a few minutes ago. You just move this down, this pinky, because this is the seven. Move it down. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now we have the six, the nine, and then the five. So now we have an A major six slash nine chord. I think that's what it's called. It's more like, it's like built out of fourths. So it sounds really cool. And then you add the seventh up top. So you can do this with a bunch of different, um, uh, different chord voicing. So this is just basing it off of this chord. I mean, there's a million different chords that you can do. Uh, so I would say just figure out different areas for your major scale and then uh, figure out chords around it and then figure out how to move different intervals around and then you'll figure out different cool voicings that um, that you can play so yeah